I have things. Hi, I'm John, this is my vlog, and I've had the opportunity this week to hear so many interesting people talk, and it is so great. My first thing this week was on Tuesday, I got to meet Carlton Cuse in my sci-fi class. Carlton is the one of the big higher-ups on Lost and works on Bates Motel and is a generally cool person. He said a lot of cool things about writing science fiction, and particularly Lost, how your mythology is important and people will care about that, but your characters are much, much, much more important. He said that in the writer's room they talked about characters about 80% of the time and the mythology only about 20% of the time. As someone who wants to write sci-fi, it was really cool to have that perspective and be reminded that no matter what the world is like, it really has to start with the characters and the story, and that was some cool things. On Wednesday, I went to a screening of Ask Backwards, which is a new movie written by Casey Wilson and June Diane Raphael, and Casey Wilson was there, as well as the director of the film, to talk to us about the movie, and it was really cool because I love happy endings, and I love her. The movie was really funny, and she was really fun to talk to. She talked about the differences in working on a show like Happy Endings where you show up and have fun and working on a movie that you're writing and producing and it's independent and you have to do a lot more work and how they're both fun but one's more satisfying you have more control and that was really interesting to hear about. And she was also just super down to earth and present and it was cool to see her. But the majority of people I got to meet this week was because this weekend was the second annual comedy festival at the School of Cinematic Arts here at USC. There was a series of panels and they brought in all sorts of really awesome people to talk to us about comedy. So let's just do a rundown of some of the things. There was an animation panel which featured James Brooks who created The Simpsons, who's kind of a big deal, and a bunch of other really awesome people in animation who talked about the differences in doing animated comedy and live action comedy, and also just the way that The Simpsons kind of changed the face of comedy in general. The second panel was a panel about women in comedy, and that panel was so awesome. We had guests like Dana Fox and Katie Dippold and Tracy Oliver who created Awkward Black Girl and it was just really cool because they were just hilarious and gave a lot of good advice and yeah. The third event was the presentation of an award to James Burroughs who Google him and be impressed with his credits. I didn't get to watch a lot of it because I was volunteering but I did get to see a little bit of his Q&A session with Lisa Kudrow who was in Friends which he created. He was just very knowledgeable and had a really cool perspective on things, and it was really awesome to hear him speak. The last panel was the one I got to have the most involvement with. It was a panel celebrating Wit Thomas Harris, which is a production company that produced things like Soap and The Golden Girls. The panel not only featured Paul Witt and Tony Thomas, and was supposed to feature Susan Harris, who was unfortunately ill, but also had Mitch Hurwitz, who wrote on The Golden Girls and created Arrested Development, and Betty White. I was shadowing Tony Thomas, so I was escorting him around the event, and I got a chance to talk to him and meet Mitch through that, and it was really, really cool, and they were awesome, and had a lot of really fun, interesting things to say, and Betty White is the most precious. And then the final panel was about Harvard Lampoon and its involvement in Hollywood and comedy, and featured Conan O'Brien and Al Jean and Greg Daniels, and it was hilarious. It was really fun to watch. Overall, meeting all these people is, a, is really cool from a fan perspective. I love Arrested Development. I like The Simpsons a lot. It was cool to see the people behind those things. But more than that, it was super inspiring. It made me just want to go write and want to write and do well and be part of this industry and get out there and be putting things out there and creating. The Women in Comedy panel I felt was especially awesome. Overall, that entire panel was a lot closer to what I see myself doing in the next 10, 15 years. And so it was really cool to see people doing that. And they were all just very cool and funny and like interested in helping people, which was awesome. And I just left that panel feeling super duper inspired and a huge desire to enter into this industry. Also, the whole festival really did re-inspire my love of comedy and it's caused me to think a lot about what kind of things I want to write in comedy and drama and stuff, but we're going to get into that next week. But that's what went on in my life today, and it really made me feel like I was in the right place where I can encounter these people and really learn cool things because I'm right here in the heart of Hollywood. It was super awesome. I'm sorry if this entire video just made me feel like, well, this doesn't affect me, because I'm just very excited about this, and I wanted to talk about it. I'm in the midst of feature hell, as in I have like four weeks to write a feature, and it's crazy and I have to go, 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 go. And therefore, these videos are going to be very much like this. But over winter break, I'm gonna do some really cool, fun things. So just you wait. It was lovely to speak at you today. If you enjoyed being spoken at, 
be spoken to spam. Prepositions are hard. Click to subscribe and like this video and that would make me feel very happy. I should be writing my feature right now. That is the perpetual feeling at all times, except when I'm actually writing it, in which case I think I should be checking Twitter right now. Okay, bye.